today's Food for Thought comes from the 8th chapter of Romans, verses 25 and 26, which reads, But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. I was thinking about how many of us, we give up way too early. What is the point of saying that, that we believe or that we have faith when we simply just give up? We throw our hands up in the air. Faith, you should remember, is the substance of things hoped for, right? It is the evidence of things not seen. Yet many of us, we give up because we don't see our blessing as soon as we have finished our prayers or after waiting for just a day or two. Does that really sound like having faith to you? In the scripture prior to this, Paul, he asked, for why does one still hope for what he sees? When your blessing has been revealed to you, you should be filled with great joy if your blessing truly was given to you by the Lord. Every gift that is given to you by God, that's a gift that will make you content in your soul. But the problem that many of us run into when it comes to waiting on our blessings is that we are too busy walking by sight rather than walking by faith. When you find yourself giving up hope, that is when you should lean even more on the Lord. The Spirit, as Paul states here in our Food for Thought for today, the Spirit will make intercession on your behalf and the Lord will uplift you in your weakness while you are waiting and while you are getting impatient. With patience, we will be greatly rewarded by the Lord and we will be made content in our souls. So my encouraging word to you today is always remain hopeful. Don't give up. As soon as you start to give up, as soon as you start to doubt, the only thing that you end up doing is hindering yourself from receiving your blessings. So don't do that. Remain hopeful. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about. And I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.